The news at five stars with breaking news. Did you feel it? An earthquake hit just moments ago here in Northern California. The initial magnitude is 5.7. The epicenter was near Lake Almanor, and that is located about 82 miles east of Red Bluff. It was felt as far away as San Francisco. People also felt the shaking here in Sacramento, including right here at the station. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Thomas. I'm Laura Painter. We want to get to our Alicia Machado, who is live outside right now. She is talking to people who felt the shaking. Alicia, tell us where you are and what people have been telling you. Well, Chris, Laura, I'm here inside Doco at Fizz Champagne and Bubbles Bar. And the big question of the day has been, did you feel it? Just over this past half an hour or so, folks have been talking around saying, what were you doing then? Where were you? Were you in the bathroom? Were you standing, sitting? And a lot of people felt that little rumble underneath them, a little bit of shake in the water from folks I've been talking with here today. I even met a couple from Canada who felt their first earthquake for the first time while they were here visiting Sacramento. We know that California has quite a bit of seismic activity, so they were surprised, but not too surprised with that knowledge in mind. But I want to come over here to the chief champagne officer, right? And the owner here at Fizz, who was here when this earthquake happened. What was that like? Oh, it was on Fizz and believable. Honestly, I was really surprised. I've never felt an earthquake before, and I'm in the back, I'm doing a tasting, I'm working, and I'm seeing the lights just slowly swaying. It was the weirdest thing. And were, was, was there any bottles or anything that fell or not too big of a quake to feel that? Well, I ran out, made sure we have a lot of bottles behind here, a lot of inventory, everything was safe, everything was secured, and praise God, we're all okay. I know people were telling me inside here that there was a little bit of a eruption, sort of. Everybody was wondering what was going on. There was some hooting and hollering. What was that like? Talk to me about that. Well, we were all looking around, wondering, is somebody kicking us under the table? Who's who's doing that? Who's playing footsie? What's going on? Oh, wait, look up. Wait, did you feel that? Wait. And then I ran outside, talked to people in the panel, and I said, did you see what just happened? Did you feel that? And they were all like, yes. And we all confirmed it was a fizz and earthquake. I love that. A fizz and earthquake, unfizz and believable. You heard it here first. But man, for, from folks I've been speaking with out here today, they're thankful that it wasn't worse, that it wasn't a bigger quake. Uh, because, you know, we've seen across the nation at, at times these earthquakes can be devastating. But folks here just amused to be able to feel that underneath them for folks who were sitting down. Some people, myself included, were upset that they were walking around because they didn't get to feel it. But being a California native, I myself have felt them before when I was out in the Monterey area, as well as in my childhood in Fairfield. Even my videographer, Kurt, who's behind the camera, felt the car shaking and thought someone might have been messing with him a little bit. But we're going to continue to follow this for you guys and bring you more information as we get it. So stick with us. We'll be right back here at 6 o'clock. Chris, Laura. And Alicia, we even spoke to people who were downtown near the Capitol, and they told us they felt it as well, said some of the buildings were shaking down there. This was in Indeed, quite the unsettling afternoon for so many people. Our Alicia Machado starting us off with our breaking news. Alicia, thank you. And a lot of you are sending us comments about what you are experiencing when that earthquake hit. Right here on your screen are some examples of that. Keep those comments coming. We want to hear from you. Tell us your story as you're experiencing this, the earthquake. Let us know what that experience was like for you. And we want to get to Carly right now. The concern for safety at the mm -hmm. moment is aftershocks. Right, and we are seeing those aftershocks right now. The Almanor, Almanor fault zone, that is exactly where we're continuing to see a lot of these red dots you see on camera here. These are all areas we've been seeing the aftershocks as well as that major one. The 5.7 initial has been dropped to initially a 5.4, now back up to a 5.5 as the USGS figures out the strength of that earthquake. And you can see all the different areas here, 2.5, 2.6, 2.8, and another magnitude 2.8 earthquake and those aftershocks after that initial uh, 5.5. So that's what we're tracking here, of course, near Lake Almanor and the Almanor Fault Zone. Now, a lot of people saying, did you feel it? Yeah, we've heard even areas as far as San Francisco and Stockton feeling just a little shake, whether it's the blinds moving or a little jolt like we felt here in the studio. Your initial thoughts are, what is this? And 
am I starting to feel a shake or is this something else? And you can always tell when maybe blinds move or in our studio's case, I'm looking up to see whether any of the studio lights may be shifting. But of course, when you see those things, you find cover and you make sure that you are doing well and that you have something to protect mostly your head. Let's take a look at what we can see with the earthquake effects. Moderate damage, that is for areas around Lake Almanor as they felt the strongest jolt of that 5.5. Here we felt really maybe just a minor shake, so really no major damage around our area, but the closer you get to that epicenter, that is where they're looking at potential for slide damage. If you have any of those photos, send them our way. Anything broke in your home or you're seeing any kind of damage, send them to us by uploading that video or those pictures to our ABC 10 app. As we move through the evening hours, temperatures dropping into these mid 60s as we get to 9 p.m., but the warm up is headed our way. We'll talk about this major heat for your weekend coming up. Carly, thank you.